I'm going to show you each of the four guitars we used as props in this video up a little bit more closely and I'm going to make comments about each. This is the first sunburst we did, the hand applied sunburst. The top has about eight coats of lacquer, was allowed to dry, and then I rubbed it out and buffed it to gloss. I'm going to turn the guitar around and show you the shading that we did on the neck and the back and also the finish that I did on the back. This is the back side of the hand applied sunburst prop. You can see that the neck was shaded and toned as well as the body. The back, the sides, and the neck all have an off the gun satin finish which I think looks really really nice on this older style guitar. This is the second acoustic prop that we did, the Golden Buckeye Burst. The top, the back, and the sides all have a high gloss finish. I'm going to come in a little bit closer on that sinker mahogany to show you how that looks. Here's the waist area of that sinker mahogany with that really nice light maple trim on it. Here's the back side of the second acoustic prop that we did, the one that has the ebonized black neck. I kept the neck satin. Gloss was way too harsh for this and I think the satin looks a little bit better. Plus, players generally prefer satin necks. They just have a better feel to them. That sinker mahogany is just an awesome wood. I love building with it and has great color. This is the Alder Stratocaster that we did the tobacco sunburst on. And I really like the fact that this center section is really clean and doesn't have any overspray on it. I also did an off the gun satin finish on this body, which I think looks really sharp. This is the Ash Stratocaster that we did the fire sunburst on, and I just love the way that this sunburst turned out. It's a very eye-catching sunburst, so I did a buff gloss finish on this one. Here's the back of it, which quite honestly looks just as good as the front. Well, we did it, didn't we? We've got four beautiful sunbursts to show for all that hard work. Two acoustics and two electrics. We covered everything from proper surface preparation, grain filling, sealing, taping, applying the sunburst by hand, applying the sunburst with a spray gun. We showed you a couple acoustic sunbursts as well as some electric sunbursts. We even showed you some of the popular sunbursts, things like the vintage sunburst or the tobacco sunburst. I also showed you how to match a sunburst from a picture using some basic color principles. I want to go back to something that I said though at the very beginning of this course, which is this. If you can build a guitar, you can do a sunburst. It's really just that simple. Hopefully, after watching this course, you're in a much better position than I was many years ago when I started my first sunburst. So, get out there and happy sunbursting.